Americans are in the midst of a full-blown revolution, an experience revolution, that is. Today's customers expect engagement, choices, and an experience. This is vastly different from the mom-and-pop stores and mail-order catalogs from decades before. Good afternoon. My name is Jet Nelson. I'm Hayden Miller. And I'm Kaya Kuro. We are the American Enterprise team from Odessa High School, and we are excited to present our project, Engage with the Experience. One thing has not changed. The economy is always evolving from agriculture to ind industrial revolution, to service, and to today, the experience economy. Our chapter decided to focus on past economies and gain an understanding on, of the new experiences trend for our American Enterprise project. As we planned our project, we developed three phases to teach project. First, students would research how businesses are creating an experience for their customers. Then they would brainstorm ideas on experience they would like to see from a retailer or a service provider. As a grand finale, students would create an experience fair to teach the entire school and community about this new trend in the economy. We established six goals. Expand knowledge of the American enterprise system, note differences in the U.S. economic systems, and gain knowledge of successful experienced businesses. Apply knowledge to develop a new experience business, gather community to attend the experience fair, and finally, evaluate what the students have learned. To begin, we saw the approval from our, from our chapter, our principal, and the teachers. We also selected a target audience, the eighth grade class, and gained permission to have all students, grades four through 12, ex attend the fa experience fair. As we planned our project, we divided responsibilities amongst our chapter members based on class schedules. Then we prepared our teaching materials. We created a pre-test and a post-test, PowerPoints and lessons. We gathered supplies and reserve space for the fair. Phase one of the project involved lessons on the American enterprise system learning about the four different economies experiences in America so far. This was followed by a research project on companies that offer an experience to their customers. For phase two, students were challenged to create a learning center for the experience fair. Their center had to be interactive, appropriate for all ages, designed for small groups, and feature a current business and idea for a future business that offers an experience. Five groups worked diligently for two weeks to complete this phase. In February, the gym was transformed into the, engage, into the Engage the Experience Fair, where guests visited the five unique fun exhibits. All, all the students in grades four through 12 and community members rotated through each of the exhibits. Students now had a thorough understanding of an experience economy. While the economy has changed a lot, Students heard some common themes in business that never changed. If you want to survive in a business, you must be always willing to adapt. Excellent customer service must always be a top priority. This sets these stores apart because their owners care about their customers. Finally, creating an experience in a small community is tough, but we did find one local business, the Cult Shop, who's selling classes for its customers. Our research indicated that there was a real need to expose our students and community to the experience economy. As we are working on this project, Sears closed at Northtown Mall in Spokane, Washington. We learned that the people need a reason to come to your business, otherwise they will just shop online. We learned about some very successful business who offer experiences. REI has a rock wall right in their store to test equipment or clothes, and Sephora and Ulta offer free makeovers to their customers. We learned that today's retailers must create an in-store experience that encourages you to spend more than you planned through a carefully selected product line. Target does this with their Magnolia line from Fixer Upper Ship and Joanna Games. You see their ideas on TV and you go to Target and try to recreate them. All students took a pre-test prior to attending the fair with an average score of 22%. It was clear there was a real need for this project. All 41 members of our chapter were involved in planning and implementing this project. They assisted with the lessons and the experience fair. They participated in many experiences offered by local retailers. The impact was profound. We learned that the true irony is what bricks and motor stores are failing at a time when retail sales are on the rise. We spoke with John Shasky, manager of Norton Mall, 
He has worked in retail since the 70s. He believes there is simply too many retail options. It's clear that people need more. That is why Northtown now has a petting zoo, trampolines, more restaurants, workspace with free Wi-Fi, and an arcade. It's all about the experience. We were all made more aware of the challenges Odessa retailers face to keep their doors open. Most don't offer an experience. In fact, they haven't changed their business models for years. The average test score of the students after the Engage in the Experience Fair was 84%. Based on what we learned, we all agree the next phase of this project is to help our local retailers stay in business. They need, more, they need to create more experiences for the community. The coronavirus has helped. Most people don't leave Odessa and only shop locally. This project started out as a lesson on the economy for students and community, but evolved into a true lesson on how quickly the world is changing and how consumers influence the success or the failure of a business. For our chapter, awareness was the biggest impact. As we buy products in the future, we will all be more mindful to support businesses that we all want to see survive. Publicity about this project appeared on the Odessa Record, Facebook, school website, and throughout our school when posters were displayed. As we evaluate this project, we believe that it was excellent. All six goals were not only met, but exceeded. The students had, a full, had come to a full circle from little knowledge as indicated on their pretest to deep and meaningful understanding of how experiences are changing the American enterprise system. Even more important, the experience economy is growing daily. Businesses have to be clever to attract customers and keep them coming back. The Sally syndrome, same as last year, doesn't work. We now understand this more than ever.